Hello everyone. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. I do appreciate you taking the time to click on this video and spend some time with me. So thank you. Today we're going to talk about sink tips. There are probably 8,675,309 sink tips to choose from. How do you decide? Well, I'm going to make it really easy in this video for you to decide what you should do related to sink tips. And this is what's worked for me over all the years that I've fly fished. And please be sure to stick to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you a little known fact about fishing sink tips. So there are really two types of sink tips that work really well for me. One is the type that you attach to a floating line. Honestly, there are even numerous types of those. I have one sink tip that does anything and everything I want it to do when it comes to using a floating line and this sink tip attachment. So the sink tip that I use is a fast sink sink tip. Goes right on the end of your floating line and then you tie a tapered leader on the end of that and choose whatever fly you'd like. When it comes to sink tips, for me, I don't get stuck in the weeds with all these different types of grains and how fast they sink and how slow they sink, whether they're a fast sink or whether they're an intermediate, I just go with a fast sink sink tip. And if I want it to sink deeper, I just wait a little bit longer. If I don't want it to sink very deep, well then I, as soon as I cast it out, I start stripping it back in. So what I try to do is I try not to get stuck trying to determine which type I need. I have just this one type and I vary my presentation based off of where I'm fishing. And that's worked really well for me when fishing these type of sink tips. So the second option you could go with is having a fly reel that has exclusively sinking line. And what that consists of is a full sink sinking head and it's generally an intermediate body. If I'm really going down deep for fish and I wanna have an easier casting experience, I use my fly reel that has a full sinking line. And that really does well for me. The one that I have on my Orvis 8.9 reel is a full sink, fast sink. And just like the ones that I put on the fly line, I just vary my presentation based off of the depth of where I'm fishing. The lake right behind me is about 40 feet deep. So if I'm fishing this lake, I'm just gonna wait longer after casting it to let that thing sink down and then retrieve it back. If I wanna see if the fish are higher up in the water column, I'm gonna cast it out and I may not wait at all. And I'll start stripping that thing back, knowing that it's gonna be a couple of feet below the surface. So don't get stuck in the weeds when it comes to trying to pick the right sink tip. Just pick one that works well for you, works for your setup, and vary your retrieve based off of the depth of the water and where the fish might be eating in the water column. And that's really there it. Fish on. So the one thing that you should know about nice. sink tips is they are pretty easy to cast. And I found that if you're in tight spots, you can conduct a roll cast very easy with a sink tip. In fact, it's almost easier to roll cast a sink tip than a floating line. Super easy. You just wait until that sinking head is nearly to the end of the rod and you have about a rod length of line beyond the tip of your fly rod. And you just bring it up to about one o'clock, create that, create that nice D loop in the line and shoot that nice and smooth out and a nice roll cast. Sinking lines really do roll cast nicely and it's an easier way to get that set up out there instead of trying to hold all of that heavy line in the air. You can do it, you just have to be more deliberate and spend a lot more time with technique and waiting for that line to fully extend behind you when you're casting a full sink line. If you have one of the sink tips on a floating line, it can get what I describe as kind of rubber bandish. It could be tough to cast, but if you do water loading, let that line fall onto the water, bringing it back, and when just about you're right about to where the sink tip is, bring that up, lay it down, now bring it up again, lay it down, and if you need to do one more cast, bring it up and lay it down, and that's called water loading. It's very tough to false cast one of those sink tips that are attached to your floating line, because it is, it's just like a rubber band. So those would be your two tips when casting sink tips. All right, well, I hope this helps you 
choose a sink tip next time you're out there. Thanks for tuning in. Until the next time, fish on.